Hi everyone, in this occasion I'm going to explain you this article entitled On Cheating on a Precipitation for Protein Purification. This is um, a process on which the authors try to optimize a micro immunoprecipitation method and they use uh, PDMs PDMS column functionalized with covalent bone antibodies. And they want to do this optimization in order to obtain purified fractions of a tag protein from a bacterial disease. So the immunoprecipitation typical method is carried out in a batch mode or using milliliter volumes in agarose and agarose beads. And when the surface of the with uh, of these beads is captured with, uh, with the antibodies that are immobilized. But here they want to or they develop a microimmune precipitation column column and optimize the method using a microfluidic device that helps with protein capture and elution of arrangement protein from a, from a salicates from bacteria. And well, uh, at first it's an advantage because it's the microfluidic device is uh, disposable device and also it is functionalized with BDMAs with antibody with antibodies and and also they for perform or to to get this device they have to follow several stages using for instance hellenization process and also uses app tests for preventing the non-specific absorption of different proteins and also for blocking the for blocking the non-specific absorption too. Oh, well, the materials and methods in this image you can see that at first they had to design the, the microchip. Um, they use uh, PDMS for the fabrication. And as you can see here, it is a kind of serpentine with these channels. In total, the volume that is the diameter of these channels are were 50 micrometers and the, the internal volume of this device is 4.4 microliters. Then as I mentioned before, it has to suffer some process such as first the sinanization protocols to help for the antibody immobilization using APTE solution. And the reaction here is that the surface amino groups were subsequently reacted with the cross-linked glutarhaldehyde. And also it has to, to use, uh, here it was used different, different, strategies or different solutions for blocking the non-specific protein absorption. And then they measure all this, all the, the data using fluorescence monitoring antibody mobilization with a inverted microscope. And, and for the protein capture and elution as I mentioned at the beginning, they use um, clarified bacteria, this bacteria, this E. coli, 
the lysate containing the expressed affinity target protein. And, and well, the, the results on this question that they could show here is that at first the antibody mobilization, as I mentioned in the materials and methods, they use different different substances to avoid the the to avoid the existence of this not specific absorption of other proteins. And at first it was only using they only use at the buffer, but then they did several washes using twin and finally they use SDS. And as you can see here in these images, it represents the fizzy absorption of the antibodies to native and amino functionalized PDMS. And the normalized, the antibody GST compared with the native, compared with the aptest, the Updates show it um, a better performance because it, it was fun the functionalized one using the technique that and they um, using the technique they want to optimize. Then another of the of the important results were, was that they had to block the potential non-specific antibody absorption sites. Um, for that, they had they probes they taste with several um, blocking agents, and they found that the most effective one was the meat powder. So they use this for the next experiment, for the later microimmunoprecipitation experiment. And I'm going to show you this image that, that shows the conventional technique of immunoprecipitation versus the micro microchip optimized method. And here they use the bacterial lysate, as you can see here for the capture and dilution. And they use, they did a washing and a looting of the GSD FRB that was the target protein. And well, the, the wash and the fractions, the solution fractions were collected and run on an SDS page. SDS gel. And here is the conventional one technique where you can see that the GST F, R, B target protein, the protein was in the side of very seven kilodalton here that is the conventional and also in the in the new optimized method and for the free gst also the location was 26 kilodalton in the conventional one and in the no micro microimmuno precipitation device. So the conclusions here was that it, it was successful successfully optimized the method the, for the functionalization of the PMS microcolumns. And also it minimized the protein non-specific absorption because of the all the same all the steps that I mentioned before, the sinonization, the aptest, and also the washing with 
between and is yes solution. And and finally, it's important to mention that that the microfluidic devices helps in this case for the separation in the micro columns and for the it is a great example of device that helps for integrated parallel and serial analysis schemes. Thank you.